Stop right there! So, Grasshopper. What? What? Are you ready for your first lesson? Oh. Sensei Cartoon Carl. Arigato, Sensei. I am ready. Okay. Today we go over the VR specific uh, controls. Carl, Carl. What? Dude, what is that accent? It started off as stereotypical Hollywood Asian and then it devolved into Italian American. <laughs> what is going on? I can't do accents for shit, man. Yeah, evidently. <laughs> all right, anyway, yeah, what's happening here? Okay, all right. So, this is Trek to Yumi uh, with UEVR. Now, the game is normally played in a 2.5D kind of style fashion. Uh, gameplay is very similar to like Golden Axe, Streets of Rage, that kind of side scrolling beat em up. Uh, kind of cross with the classic. Prince of Persia kind of style. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, with UEVR, we have completely transformed it. It's now in the first person perspective. Yeah, you can talk to the third person at any time. Why not? And you also have got motion controls. Thanks to Office Air to be our companion. Oh, sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to do a whole bit where I'm a sensei here in the dojo and I'm going to teach you how to use the controls. Uh, yeah. It's going to be a whole thing. Dude, we don't want to get cancelled. I mean, woke culture's gone insane, uh, okay? Well, yeah. But come on, I want to do the bit. Okay, okay, let's do the bit. Uh, but maybe lose the accent, okay? Uh -huh. Yeah, it was terrible anyway. It was a weird Fu Manchu kind of... I don't know what you were doing. Oh, Fu, you're Manchu. All right, come on, let's go. <laughs> All right, Grasshopper. Let's pretend this is uh, a dubbed version, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right, Grasshopper. I'm Cartoon Carl, your generic 70s style overdubbed voice. Okay, pretty sweet. Okay, let's go over the controls. In order to do a light attack... Press and hold the right grip. And swing your controller. That's it. You have mastered the light attack. Sweet. Yeah. All right. In order to do the heavy attack, bring your left controller up to your right controller as though you were actually holding a katana. Now, same again. Press and hold the right grip and swing <laughs> with both your controllers together as though you were holding the hilt of a katana. That's it. You have now mastered the heavy attack. Righteous. I know. Now, Grasshopper. For the really fun part. Blocking and parrying. Oh, yeah. This works with motion controls, too. All right. So on your right controller, press and hold. Trigger. Now, when you move your controller, this activates block or parry system. So, if you time it just right, you can parry an enemy's attack. And then switch back to a light or heavy attack yourself and take him out. Ninja style. Well, that's it. Now you're ready to play. 
Okay, that's the bit. That's uh, that's kind of what I wanted to do here with the, the, with the tutorial on how the uh, uh, gameplay features work. Game sweet. Okay, so well, let's get into the game proper then, and uh, you can explain how we actually set this up. How about that? Yeah, I guess so. All right. So, player. Yeah, yeah. I'm leaving there talking to you. Coming to you live with Daigo. That, that idiotic automation known as Cartoon Car is all up in this piece as well. For what it's worth, Jake Lord. Nobu says it's a famous recipe from Kyoto. Oh ho. And did he tell you they serve it in the Imperial Court? Hmm? Uh yes. Hey guys, how's it going? Just call me Karate Carl. Jesus Tish. Oh Carl Carl. <laughs> yeah. Maybe don't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, okay, so how we all doing, guys? Oh, yeah, we're doing pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, that was yeah, good. I'm alright. So what's what's all this? What's going on with? What's happening? Well, Ed, we got bored. We got bored one day, and we were looking through our free Epic library. You know, every week you get free games from Epic. And Trek to Yumi dropped maybe two, three weeks ago. And yeah, looking at the screenshots, it looked like a cool little side scroller. But it turns out it was Unreal Engine. So I was like, oh. You must have gone into town. This way. Master Sanjuro has never interrupted my lessons before. Have I disappointed him? Don't be silly, Was Hiroki. Was Sanjuro just now? Indeed, and in such You're his favorite apprentice. So we can get this up in the order. Yeah. yeah, we did, but uh, rather than play it in a side-scrolling kind of capacity, which you can absolutely do, you're like uh, in a top-down isometric camera, I told you twice already, friend. It's not for sale. Looking at the action from afar, you can play that way. It plays great. It's fantastic. That is how it was designed. But we decided, okay, let's make a first-person profile. Which you can toggle at any time, pressing numpad zero on your keyboard. Now, to use our profile, very simple. Hi, young Hiroki. By your Aiko a treat? I... Um... She is... Uh... <laughs> Your face has gone so red. We must hurry anyway. It did look delicious though. Download the link from the description. Macro. All right. Clown. In your UEVR kit. In for a profile. Excuse me, uh, help an old man move his cart? Sanjuro startled me as he ran by and it got stuck in this ditch. And pointed to the file you just downloaded. That's <laughs> it. Now, when you build up the game, you'll notice you're going to be in first-person perspective. With a katana in six degrees freedom. Did you see which way he was going? Thank you, young man. I saw him sprint upstairs. Seems like something is going on outside of the main gates. But not only that. You can play it this way, it's fine. But the katana doesn't do shit. It's busy a button prong. It's basically for show. Why worry? Nothing ever happens here. That's the trouble. No nutri. I'm telling you, there are bandits in the forest. Sure. I know a shortcut. But I'm not supposed to use it. Just as well Master isn't here. To tell us off then. He isn't really that strict, you know. Why? He probably came this way himself. Yeah, yeah, which is cool and all, but it's still a button press and, uh... Yeah... How would he go so far? What are you doing in here, little thieves? Run, Hiroki! Forgive us, sir. Fresh plums! I'll never be more delicious! So we decided... What are we gonna do? We're, we're gonna make him more immersive, aren't we, Carl? Yeah! Well, how'd y'all do that? Well, if you remember back to our Dead Island 2 video, we used a software from Officer called VR Companion, and we've used that a lot since. Uh, we've also used it in our GTA San Andreas profile also. So we went ahead and we made a more complex kind of melee system. Uh, you can do light attacks, you can do heavy attacks, and you can block and parry all with your motion controls. Very, very intuitive, works great. I... Still she refuses me, brother. What happened this time? I told her I would follow her even into the underworld. Let me through. It's my turn. Victory belongs to those who wait half an hour longer than their opponent, my friend. 
This is a market, not a dojo. Please. The Kami do not smile upon me this day. Dare I say it makes the game even easier, but there it is. We've also mapped ranged weapons, so if you lift your left controller up to your left shoulder and then swing it down, that activates the, the troll systems. Yes, that must be where Sensei is. We must hurry! So if you have like, you know, those shuriken ninja stars or, or whatever it is you can pick up to throw, you can now throw that at an enemy with a gesture rather than a button thumb. So we've gone ahead and done that also. That's pretty cool. How do, how do, how do I set this Defend up, man? Invaders, Hiroki! So that is why Father hurried away! Stay close to me. We must find him. dangerous I know a thousand routes that these awful men do not please stay out of sight sensei will not forgive me if you are harmed and I, I... Hiroki you go do not worry Yeah, yeah. All right. So again, go back to the link in the description and you'll find the link for VR Companion. Go ahead and download the latest version. All right. Back in the description, you're going to find our trek to Yumi.py file. Go ahead, open up scripts in the VR Companion folder, go to profiles and paste it in there. All right. Next step. Open up your VR Companion. Okay. Cut you. Cut Press F5 for the load script. <laughs> Alright, a new window will appear. From the selection wheel, choose Track to Yumi. Hit OK. You're good to go. Now, when you play the game, you're in first person perspective. You have six degrees of freedom motion control. Put controls. this one out of his misery. Pleasure. <laughs> you can perform light attacks, heavy attacks, blocking and parrying with those motion controls. And you can also throw items. So it makes the game far more... <clears throat> Viorified. Than usual. Yep, that's what we do here. Oh, yeah, baby. That's it. That's how you do it. Thanks, Carl. Yeah, so this is Trek to Yumi. And as previously mentioned, it's normally played in the 2.5D style. In VR, that does work also. In the top down isometric view, looking at the action fold in front of you. Now, if I was to describe the gameplay, it's similar to side scrolling beat em ups from the 16 bit era. Most notably, I find it quite similar to Golden Axe and Streets of Rage, uh, Final Fight, all those kind of games. I. I and who is this brave little warrior? Stand down, dog! I am a samurai! Are you now? My sensei trained me well! I am ready! Ha! <laughs> Put down your weapon and run, boy! No! This is my sworn duty! Then Toyomi with you, young fool! Open his throat! <laughs> You overestimate yourself. 
You can see the DNA in this game. It also has elements of the Prince and Persia games, like the classic ones. So I've noticed those strands of DNA in Trek to Yumi. It's all the better for it. It plays fantastic and you can absolutely play in that way in VR and it's a great experience. The world is all around you. It's like you're a spectator in the crowd watching all this action unfold around you. Fantastic. Now as always we do have a toggle system so pressing on pad zero if you want to go from first person to third person and indeed if you want to watch the cutscenes as they were originally intended you can do that also however the cutscenes do kind of work in first person you must have been sent by the Kamai a thousand thanks Hiroki if you seek Sanjuro, he ran past here earlier. No one's left. Can't we go? It is time to drink and count our mon. Oh, but it's the end of your end. <laughs> But they are janky, so just bear that in mind. You can experience them both. Now with VR Companion, we also added an extra layer with working motion controls, as opposed to just a 60OF tracked item that's there for show. It now actually does something, so that's quite cool. They have burned so much and killed so many already. So the game itself, you're basically a Ronin. Now what a Ronin is, I pray is Sensei can stop them. a samurai without a master, essentially. If only he had taken me with him. So it is a classic kind of. I hope Aiko is still safe. Akira Kurosawa tale, you know, where it blends kind of Western tropes in a Japanese kind of Edo setting, which Akira Kurosawa is famous for, most notably Seven Samurai. No, no, no. Osagi Yojimbo, those kind of movies. It also shares the aesthetic, that being the sort of really washed out. These peasants have nothing of value. It all adds up. A few more here, a few more there. We'll be wealthy men. If he shares the loot fairly. Oh, he will. He's the cruelest bastard since Susano, but he keeps his word. In the mean. I shut you up you up up for your life. <laughs> 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 black and white, very clean look that Akira Kurosawa is known for. It shares that aesthetic and it's wonderful. When will the Shogun send aid? All the better for it. So in VR it feels as though I'm in an Akira Kurosawa movie. Yeah, <laughs> I'm loving this. Get the gate closed! We need to bar it! Bring that log quickly! Hurry! There'll be more of them! Hold it! Hold it! So yeah, it is a it is very much a western style hero's journey in the Akira Kurosawa mold. Story-wise, that's it. It's a, a story of revenge and justice. Yeah, very very simple. I like the gameplay itself. Also very very simple. But very very enjoyable. It's arcadey, right but it has some depth to it. Especially with the parrying, blocking, and attacking system. Kind of cool. How it plays in VR actually reminded me of Assassin's Creed, believe it or not. Of all games, it reminded me of Assassin's Creed in VR. Whereas that game had the parrying and the attacking system. Very, very similar in terms of how it plays. So that's it, you guys. Yeah, Trek to Yumi in first slash third person VR with working motion controls. Yeah, we've been vr fight games. Enjoy. So I guess we're going to leave it there, you guys. Uh, if you want, right, comment and subscribe. If you've got any thoughts, queries, any critiques, put them down below. If indeed there are any games you'd like to look at the other time in the future, put those down below and we will presumably get back to you eventually. You can also follow us on TikTok for our adventures over there. Which are basically condensed versions of what we do over here. And, uh... Yeah. Follow us on all social medias, uh, all links will be in the descriptions, and yeah, looking forward to seeing you there also. Alright, Glorified Games out. <laughs>